Hey, it's Mr. Peace. I'm here at Breeze Hill Elementary School in Vista, California, part of the Vista Unified School District. And this is the home of the Coyotes. I'm here for the after school program, the AM PM program. And the main focus for today's topic, and this is my first time on this school campus, so such an honor. But the main focus uh, that we spoke on for the after school kids was all about positivity. Right, and being our best self. We held the two sessions in the NPR right behind me. And we really tried to say, look, you know, we need to have a positive attitude in every area of our lives with our teachers, with our classmates, our parents, our coaches, whoever it is in our lives. But also we really need to be positive, you know, even when things aren't going our way, right? When the sun is shining, like it is today, beautiful day, uh, you know, it's so easy to be positive and kind of figuratively speaking inside of our hearts, right? When things are going, the you know perfect way that we could imagine of course you know it's very easy to be positive but then when we hit some roadblocks hit some tough times and some challenges in our lives whether it's a small uh, life lesson that we're going through or you know some bigger pain you know we know that if we can just you know keep pushing you know keep persevering never give up that type of attitude that we can become stronger because of it right and so that's why I wear this shirt for this assembly it says keep your head up and the words are upside down on purpose so if your head's down or you're feeling down feeling sad it's a reminder to always think positive no matter what and so look you know there's so many times in our lives that you know it's easy to just you know kind of feel defeated and think really negatively but we know again that certain things that we go through can make us better because of it and that's what i really tried to instill you know through a series of heartfelt stories through some inspirational videos through some positive music the students really got that right some experiential exercises too where i called them up to be a part of you know the understanding of you know these negative thoughts that we have you know whatever you tell your brain your mind and your heart it's going to believe it right so it's up to us to remove those and replace it with something more positive you know start making that a habit in our lives that we keep speaking that positivity each and every day and if we continue to do that our lives you know you know year after year are going to just look better and better right you know there's a saying that the person that you will speak to the most in your lifetime is yourself so hopefully we're telling ourselves something more positively you know and if we keep doing that of course you know we're gonna have more respect because we're more kind to ourselves. we're gonna have more confidence you know if we fail at something or we lose at something we're not gonna give up we're gonna keep going you know we're gonna just keep always pushing and keep striving to be our best be our best self each and every day and that true excellence it's not about it's not about being the best being in first place right getting that medal every time that trophy it's just about doing your best Right? That's what we really also tried to reinforce today was that it's all about your effort. Just give your effort. That's what your teachers want from you, for the students that, we, that I got to address, you know, parents, everybody in their lives, is to just give your best. You know? Give the effort. The outcome will probably follow, right? If you plant positive seeds, positive thoughts in our mind and our heart, we'll probably get the, we'll probably get the positive results that we want. We also have to keep the mentality in mind, right, that the opposite of success is not failure, right? It's it's quitting and it's giving up. And so if we can kind of flip the script and start to think in that light, right, in that vein, that, hey, you know, even if I mess up, you know, if, if I make a mistake, I'm not a mistake. If I fail, I'm not a failure, right? So many times we believe that, even as adults. And so we need to re be able to reverse that type of thinking in who we are so that we can approach things in a more positive light. And that also starts with understanding our worth and our value. That's also being your best self too, right? Not just encouraging others, but encouraging yourself too. But that starts with a self-belief that we know we're all miracles. On the palm of our hands, with the lines of our hand, we have at least one in each hand. I trace one of mine here. Sometimes a faint line connects it, but we all have the letter M on our hands. That M stands for miracle, upside down W, for worthy that we're all beautiful miracles, worthy of love to both give it and receive it. And if we can buy into this concept, right, if we truly, truly believe this, well, then we can go start being that light to someone else's heart, someone that maybe has never been told that or just needs a reminder of that, right, to, you know, say, hey, I see you as this, I'm going to believe in you and until you can believe in yourself. And then we just go from there. So again, just a beautiful day, both outside and inside. Uh, the students really did get a lot. It said, said, hey, you know, what you shared, Mr. Peace, touched my heart. And I said, if something did touch your heart, great. That means you have a big heart. And now it's up to you to go share that gift by how you choose to treat yourself and others going forward. Have a great rest of the school year. Thank you so much for the opportunity to come and speak to you all.
Hope to see you again soon. Until then, though, and as always, make sure to hit the subscribe button. You'll see it pop up on the screen. You can also check out this playlist for some additional motivation. And you can also visit my website by clicking on the peace sign symbol on your phone, tablet, wherever you're watching this video to track my journey across this country as I continue to heal America's heart one school at a time. Peace.